Hello everyone out there, as always it's good to see you. I'm back with another one. Today we're going to talk a little June Ambrose for Puma, a little bit of Nigo for Kenzo. Welcome to What's New and Fashionably Noteworthy Right Now. So what do you get when you take fashion stylist June Ambrose then mix in classic brand Puma where you get her first athletic wear collection or clothing line known as the Puma High Court Collection. This latest collaboration can best be described as a basketball inspired lifestyle capsule. By the way for those that are not too familiar I am J Mad Styles and you're currently being styled by me. Also be sure to stick around with me until the end of the video for some extra added bonus content. As usual, I promise you won't be disappointed. And most important, please remember to give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and smash that like button if you like the content that I'm throwing up. After all, it helps my channel to grow. Now here's a few more pieces from the June Ambrose Puma High Court Collection. But as I said a little earlier, we're going to talk a little bit of June Ambrose for Puma, a little bit of Nigo for Kenzo. So what do you get when you get Nigo times Kenzo? You get the Boke Flower Collection. Now I spoke on this a little earlier in one of my previous videos, Cold Weather Fashion, Canada Goose. I'll be sure to link that at the end of this video so you can get caught up just in case you missed that. But just to get you up to speed, Nigo of Baby Nate fame and Human Made has taken over as creative director for Kenzo. Now what I wanted to do, in addition to what I showed you in my previous video, was give you a look at some of these first pieces that have just come out on the Kenzo website. I also wanted to give you an idea as to how you could style these pieces and put them together also. And since you're still here, I would like to now thank you for staying around up to this point in the video. It's now time to jump fashionable timelines for some of that extra added bonus content that I spoke of a little earlier. Where we come out to a little under a week ago at the Super Bowl for this unforgettable performance. To break down and recreate the look starting with Dr. Dre whose look was said to be all Tom Ford with the exception of his shoe wear. Now these next two looks were, re were recreated using pieces from the Tom Ford collection for the eye inversion of the look. Now here's a breakdown of what it would cost you to do the high end version of the look using wares from Tom Ford. The next two looks everything is the same I just switched out the jacket. Also you should note that I gave you kind of a dressy casual way to do the look with a dress shoe boot and the casual way with a high-end sneaker. Now that we've had a breakdown on how to create this look on the higher end, let's recreate it again but make it more affordable. And here's the breakdown on how to make this look a little more affordable. Once again, I gave you a dressy casual and a casual way to do this with a cheaper dress shoe boot and a less expensive Nike blazer. Although it was said that Dr. Dre was wearing black Air Force One mids. But moving right along, let's now break down and recreate Kendrick Lamar's look. First the high-end look, which was done with Virgil Abloh for Louis Vuitton. Now to help you appreciate the expense of this look, the prices are only available upon request on the Louis Vuitton website. So since we have a general idea of how expensive that look is, let's now recreate this also with a more affordable and more conventional way of doing so. Now here's the price breakdown of how this look can be recreated a little cheaper starting with suit supply. Right here I'm giving you the same look, I just switched up the shoe to a Magnani dress shoe boot. Now for Eminem, I'm not going to break down his entire look. I just wanted to shed a little bit of light on his signature Slim Shady Jordan 3s. But as always, there's no time to waste because we have to get back to our regular scheduled fashionable timeline. 
This has been what's new and fashionably noteworthy right now. And I am J Man Styles. For the full fashionable story, please log on to jmanstyles.blog. That's it for now. So until the next time, I'm gone.